Corpus Christi is welcoming a new ride share to town. That's right. It's called Ride, spelled W-R-I-D-Z, and it rolled out this week. Our Bill Churchwell reports on how it could prove to be a major player against other ride share giants. Rides is now hitting the streets of Corpus Christi, adding one more rideshare option to choose from. The app is just like, a, like our other competitors. You download the Rides app at www.rides.com. Juan Gutierrez and his wife Rosie say it was a family investment. They are the franchise owners for the Corpus Christi region and say what sets this rideshare apart from the rest is that first, it's a Texas-based company. When my wife and I retired a couple years ago, we were trying to figure out what can we do to better not only ourselves, but our home state. When we got involved with this, uh, with this new company, it was given the opportunity for the drivers to make a better living. I happened to meet them and decided I'm going to do this full time. Edward Rodriguez decided to come out of retirement to be a driver for the company. Quite a bit different. Unlike Uber or Lyft, Rides is subscription based, which means drivers will pay $55 a month to use their platform. In return, their drivers get 100% of the fares and tips. On top of that, the passengers are going to see at least a 10% reduction. Rides is also leading an effort to take added safety precautions for its drivers and passengers alike. I'm a retired police officer, retired law. Uh, retired military. So with our background, we decided to go with a company or contract with a company that actually not only does the initial background checks, but will also do a daily monitoring of the drivers. So when something happens to the driver, we're going to be the first people to know. Passengers will also be able to use their phones to scan a QR code on the driver's plaque displayed on the dash. That will allow them to bring up the driver's information and let them know they are getting in the right vehicle. Corpus Christi is the second test market for the company that plans to eventually expand to San Antonio and Austin. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.